I didn't press record. I'm an idiot. Fuck. This is the third fucking attempt to record this video. Not because the subject matter is so controversial that I can't. It's just I keep forgetting to press record. And then I used the wrong mic the first two times. It was... It was hell. And a little note to other YouTubers who might think about making a video like this. If you don't want YouTube to demonetize your video because it's not ad user friendly, remember, you can say bad words like, say, nigger. But if you have any text in your video that says nigger, your video will be demonetized. To clarify, so there's no confusion, visual nigger, bad. Audio nigger, good. You know, a-okay. So make sure if you have it in your video, Censor it. Put a little asterisk between the N and the G and you'll be just fine. But yeah, that's that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about nigger. That controversy, you know, since I was 12, never made sense to me. Because I grew up with people saying it amongst each other all the time. It was normalized. It was a word for friend or acquaintance or dude or ma'am, whatever. Like, it was it was used almost all the time. Until a white person would come around and say it, and then it was magically evil, not to be spoken. It would trigger floods, gangs of locusts, the sky was, would start bleeding. And that always fucking confused me. And then I would hear the reasons why white people or non-black people couldn't say it. And naturally, those reasons would be, you know, retarded. All the lessons I was taught about this were completely contradictory. We've reclaimed the word. It means something totally different now. It means friend. It means brother. It means, it means harmony and peace. But these crackers better not say it. If that word it doesn't have power over you, then why won't you let everyone say it? Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Why do white people want to say it so fucking bad? Well, it's very simple. Because black people have made that word very popular. We've made that word mainstream and more prevalent in a positive way. We've made nigger trendy. And as we all know, when trends become popular, Everybody wants to do it. Some black people are so paranoid, they think the only reason a white person would want to say it is to be hateful. And totally not the fact that they saw you do it in a friendly way, and they want to copy that behavior. You know, as everyone wants to do with trends. And the same thing goes for braids and twerking and all that other bullshit. People want to copy it, not to be disparaging, not to be hateful, but because it's popular and it's cool. It's not some sinister plot by white people to fuck with your head. F for fuck's sake. One of my favorite excuses behind this word, why we can say it and not white people. This excuse is my favorite. It's so dumb, but so brilliant at the same fucking time. Oh, no, 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 no. N-I-G-G-A, not N-I-G-G-E-R. These are two different words. When white people say it, it's the G, it's the E-R, but we, we say it, it's the G-A. So it's like, it's like two different words that, that mean two different things. Okay, let me break it down for you for a second. If you haven't noticed, black people have a certain flair, a certain way of speaking. Usually things with ER at the end we pronounce with an A or an R, ah or th something like that. And most white people in America pronounce things with the ER. But that doesn't mean when black people say certain words, it means different things from when w white people say them. Nigga is the same as nigger. It's just a different pronunciation. That's it. That's, that's literally it. Nigger is one word, two different definitions. The good definition and the evil definition. Nigga, nigger, same word, two different pronunciations. That's it. So white people, remember, whenever someone comes at you with that G-A-G-E-R excuse. Remember what I've told you today. And then there's all the other bullshit. Oh, white people can't say it cause slavery. Back of the bus and Rosa Parks in the 60s. <laughs> for one thing, you can't hold an entire race responsible for what a few people within that race have done in the past. You can't do it. No, it is unfair. Oh, a black guy out there somewhere raped and killed a white woman. That means all black men have to be held accountable for raping and killing white women, right? Because, you know, we all got to be held accountable, right? Oh, but no, 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 that's only reserved for white people. White people are the only ones responsible for what other white people do. And before you come out with your mouth with that fucking bullshit, well, well, white people do that to us anyway. We're just, we're just, we're just maintaining the balance of racism. Yeah, they're racist to us. You know, they all are. They're all racist. So we got to be racist right back. It seems like everything nowadays isn't about harmony or equality. It's all about fucking revenge. Everyone has to pay 
Pay! Pay! If you really want equality, fucking live up to that shit. Don't talk about it, be about it. Don't hold one set of people to one standard and another set of people to another standard because you're fucking mad. Mad about shit that you have not gone through. Slavery? There's no fucking black person alive who has been a fucking slave. You're not gonna fucking find them. You know all the back of the bus shit? If you weren't alive during that time, Shut up! Stop co-signing for other people's struggle. It's disrespectful and it's wrong. You're supposed to sing Negro spirituals, not live them. The N-word is, is just that, a word. What matters to me as a black person is racist actions, like actual racist actions. Words in the end don't mean a fucking thing to me because there are plenty of racists who hate black people or anyone of color and don't have to say one racial slur because the words don't matter. The hatred matters. You know what's gonna happen when everyone's allowed to use the n-word? Racists won't be able to use that word to get inside our heads. Which is the only reason why racists say it because they know we're gonna freak out. They know we're gonna get violent. We, they know that we're, the worst part of us is gonna come out and it's only gonna justify their racism. That's why they say it. If I call this nigger a nigger, he'll act like a nigger and then I'll be able to keep hating niggers. <laughs> and they can't say anything else because porch monkey, coon, spear chucker, those are fucking ridiculous. They're ridiculous. Nigger is the only word left that has the power to ruin a black person's day completely. We need to give nigger the same levity as porch monkey, coon, and spear chucker. If we really want the N word to lose power, if we really want that negative image gone. Why don't we just let everybody fucking say it? So that's my video. Make sure you share this video and smash that like button. Subscribe and donate. See you guys later.